Tonight, we can report significant new developments in the case of imprisoned former Border Patrol agents Ignacio Ramos and Jose Campion. A federal appellate court today heard oral arguments in the case, a case that we have called here from the outset an outrageous miscarriage of justice. And the majority of those judges today were critical and skeptical of the government's prosecution of the agents as they questioned the government. As Casey Wine reports now from New Orleans, supporters of Ramos and Camion firmly believe those two agents should receive a new trial. At a hearing of the Fifth Circuit U.S. Court of Appeals in New Orleans, supporters of imprisoned Border Patrol agents Ignacio Ramos and Jose Compeon finally heard encouraging words. Appellate Judge Grady Jolly declared, It does seem to me like the government overreacted here. Speaking of prosecutors' decision to charge the agents under a federal law requiring a 10-year mandatory sentence for using a gun to commit a crime. The agents were convicted and sentenced to 11 and 12 years in prison for wounding an illegal alien drug smuggler on the Texas border in 2005. I think it's difficult for anybody not to feel that there was overreaction, but whether or not the overreaction by the government justifies a new trial, that's up to the court. Uh, there are discernible legal issues here. Issues including the effort by prosecutors to hide Osvaldo Aldretti Davila's drug smuggling history from the jury that convicted the agents. Davila claimed he was unarmed and that he didn't know the packages in the van he was driving contained 743 pounds of marijuana. Attorneys for the agents argued Davila perjured himself during the trial. Appellate Judge Patrick Higginbotham stated the government's claim that Davila was an inexperienced, low-level drug mule, quote, defy common sense in the real world. The judges were really pounding on the attorney general, Tovo Omar. So that's great news. In fact, prosecutors knew Davila allegedly continued to smuggle marijuana while he was under U.S. government immunity from prosecution to testify against the Border Patrol agents. It's plain to see that my husband did not receive a fair trial. I was extremely encouraged by the fact that they focused on those questions and made very supportive statements indicating that they will overturn the convictions of agents Ramos and Compion. Supporters were also encouraged by U.S. Attorney Mark Stelmach's admission that Davila, quote, told some lies to prosecutors. U.S. Attorney Johnny Sutton, whose office prosecuted the agents and gave the drug smuggler immunity and a border crossing card, attended the hearing but refused to speak with reporters. Sutton released a statement saying, some in the media and on the Internet have tried to portray agents Compion and Ramos as heroes, but that narrative is false. The actions of Compeon and Ramos in shooting an unarmed fleeing suspect, destroying evidence, and engaging in a cover-up are serious crimes. But Compeon's attorney sees the case differently. I was a police officer having to do my duty under the cloud that this case is uh, raised. I'd be reluctant to act sometimes. It might cost myself my life or fellow officer, something like that. So... The line needs to be drawn, and maybe this case will do it. A ruling on the motion for a new trial is expected in six to ten weeks. Judge Jolly also stated that he believes the agents wouldn't have been charged with any crime if they had properly reported the shooting. And that, Lou, is exactly what supporters of Ramos and Compeon have been saying all along. Now, this is outrageous, and to, for the, the repetition of the statement that uh, these agents uh, fired at an unarmed uh, fleeing uh, uh, suspect, uh, suspect, they, they knew perfectly well that he was driving that vehicle. Uh, the reality is that that is the very issue that's in contention, and the Justice Department decided to take the word of this uh, illegal alien drug smuggler, who they knew at the time of that trial, had in fact been arrested again for transporting drugs. Absolutely. Not only did they take the word of the drug smuggler over the uh, word of the trained law enforcement officers, they prevented the jury from hearing details, as we reported, of the drug smuggler's extensive past history smuggling drugs and, and evidence that could have undermined his credibility and shown that he perjured himself on the stand, Lou. So that's the basis or one of the many bases for these, this appeal. You've been reporting on this story from the outset. We have been calling for these agents to receive justice. We have said point blank, even before we knew what was going on with this illegal alien drug smuggler, that it was an outrageous prosecution. Uh, but at this juncture, why in the world should it take as much as 10 weeks for the appellate court to act? I mean, these men have been in prison for almost a year. It is outrageous. 
Can't they move? These men should be free right now, in my opinion, uh, awaiting the, disp uh, the disposition on this case. We don't know for sure that it's going to take that long for the appellate uh, court to act. That is what uh, attorneys who have experience with this court say is, is uh, their past experience, that it's expected to take somewhere between six and ten weeks. Judging by the harsh criticism that they had for the government's arguments today, it could happen much sooner, Lou. There's just no way to tell right now. Well, I must say, these judges have given everyone who's been following this case and who are concerned about Ramos and Campion, their families, and the state of American justice uh, in this country, uh, given all of us some hope that uh, there can be a resolution that is fair and, uh, and just. Casey, thank you very much. Casey Wine reporting tonight from New Orleans.